Hey, I'm Andrew Jones. You're doing Kamaya Robinson. And today we're here to discuss if education still produces freedom for African Americans. And our answer is yes, it still does. HBC is emerged because many U.S. colleges refuse to admit black students and they were created to give African Americans a safe and comfortable environment to gain education. Right. Even though that's no longer the case today, um, as we learn in um, We Are Rising, mm -hmm. as um, HBU, HBCU still play a very important role for African Americans in the education in today's society and also back then. Yeah, from even before emancipation, education has played a vital role in providing African Americans freedom through giving them social mobility and political inclusion. Right, and establishments such as um, the Freedmen the Freedmen's Borough, mm -hmm. uh, the NAACP, yes. also people such as Booker T. Washington and W. E. B. Du Bois play an important role for the African Americans and for their free, for education and yeah. their freedom. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, from chapter six of the textbook, A Voyage of the African American Experience, we learned that the Freeman's Board was one of the first to help African Americans with getting an education. It created programs and opportunities for African Americans to get schooling and to, because education was a was an important part of making sure uh, Free society was fine. Right, and the political and the civil quality of the borough was temporary, but it had a lasting impact in forming a network for mm -hmm. the community that would help stand up, you know, free schools and education throughout the South. Mm -hmm. Yeah, African American leaders were also an important factor in contributing to black education. Education people like W. E. B. Du Bois and Booker T. Washington were were some of these people. Right, and both the boys and um, Booker T. Washington received their education, um, and they are all for equal rights. But not all the uh, black educators mm -hmm. were for equal rights for the black community. Mm -hmm. um, people such as um, Henry Olson Flipper. Henry Olson Flipper. Um, he was one of the ones that were more that focused more on the mm -hmm. personal uplift rather than the racial uplift for the black community. Mm -hmm. While Du Bois was the one, was the first African American to graduate from Harvard University, and believed that black people should have a larger curriculum, thinking that they should have more than just technical skills and liberal skill, liberal arts skills as well as others. You're right, and he felt like you you know, black people shouldn't sell for less, and that we should go where the power mm -hmm. is. Yeah, but we should also try, and that we should also try to gain political positions. Right. And also, um, Washington was the total opposite. Mm -hmm. Even though he was for racial uplift and education-wise, um, he believed that African Americans should focus more on the industrial skills, and that we should stay out of politics, and that they'll have us, like you know, have us get us to make more money and stuff like that. So that's what he believed. Yes, and HCU's like Tuskegee University that booked to watch for credit have been helping African Americans with education but from before the Civil War. We learned in HBC, HBC Connect, was it? Yeah, it was HBC Connect. Uh -huh. yeah. that, a man, that man named Richard Humphrey created mm -hmm. HBCUs in 1837. Yes, 1837, thanks. Um, mm -hmm. And then, yeah, we learned that, that he created them to give, black, to give black people a place where they can learn and gain an education. Experience, right. And students who uh, graduated from the HBUs are still thriving according mm -hmm. to the site um, Affordable College of Design. Online. Um, they felt that a large amount of African Americans are successful in their careers and received their uh, PhD uh, in like dentistry and you know physicians you know so they obtained their degrees there at HBCU so mm -hmm. it was a good so I just, so I just, many people feel like HBCUs are no longer important, but however, they still play, play vital functions in today's black community, giving African Americans a safe and comfortable environment where they can learn. Right, and education is still essential for them to, mm -hmm. for, for us to have <clears throat> a thriving profession to gain, you know, economic mobility and a political position to have, to, to have a say so in the government, mm -hmm. governmental policies and. That is what the freedom of education is in the freedom in the modern day of African Americans. So, I feel that we still education does still produce freedom. Mm -hmm. I feel the same so, way. Right.